stars because the stars are out. I am currently on a winter road trip to the Canadian Rockies where I find myself brave in the harsh weather conditions while the local wildlife seems to flourish in it. From large beasts to small critters, they all share a sense of curiosity towards newcomers like myself in their home. With each day in this frozen jungle, I have a new adventure to share and I'm happy to say that I found some warmth along the way. Quite impressive. So the colors are quite impressive. All the, the deep blues. Some of them are a little bit lighter, and then we got some of this new water. Ren here. He just climbed that. I'm gonna go meet him down at the bottom. Well done. Hi everyone, I am in the cave. The ice climbing and everything in the waterfall that's frozen is just down this way. But I found some really cool spots just, just uh, deeper into the cave. It's open up at the top. I should say it's a canyon, it's not a cave. Uh, so shooting in a cave can be like super exciting. You got a lot of pros and cons. Canyon, it's not a cave. Uh, the con is the amount of lighting. So we've got really dark shadows and then we've got extremely bright snow and ice that's reflecting the sunlight which you can see up through the cracks here. So to combat that and to be able to get a, a nice shot where you can show, you can see all the colors and the lighting um, is to take multiple photos and bracket them and then put them together in post. Here I have the tripod set up because I have some leading lines here and I find when you come into a cave like this, canyon, it's not a cave, there's just so many angles and so much to take a look at. This way, back that way, it's like where do you, where do you start? It's all really exciting, there's so many things to shoot here but it can be uh, overwhelming. So that's another con, but it's, if you, if you can kind of just focus and see something, grab a hold of it, take some shots, and then move along through the cave. What I'm trying to say in the cave is this. Canyon, it's not a cave. Just set up your camera and start shooting. Generally, the first 15 minutes are your worst images. You need to take your time, you see a composition, take some shots of it, and move on. Nice thing is about landscape photography is that it's not going anywhere, and it's not going to melt right away, so I have all the time in the world to just sit back and take these shots. Ice here has a really nice texture. I've got these crampons, and they cut up the ice. And so most people have walked over here, where it's chewed up the ice. Whereas over on the side here, it's kind of slick, slippery, and there's actually a bit of moisture still from springs and stuff coming down here. So this is nice and fresh, 
doesn't look like humans have really <laughs> come down here and destroyed it. And I'm going to use these leading lines. Because a lot of the times when you pick a the center piece, like looking right down the middle, it might be a little bit kind of too, I want to say maybe obvious. I don't know. Whereas here, I love the texture of this rock and then also the, the nice smooth ice here. Now the only important ingredient I needed was the sunlight. I knew that if I came back at the right time where the sun was just directly overhead, I could get some cool sun flare and play with the lighting against the rocks as well as the ice. As I was wrapping up in the canyon, one last ice climber was making his way all the way up to the top. I was amazed at how fast he was moving, so I tried to jump in there and get a couple of cool shots. Some from below, and my favorite is from the side. We are back in the cave. Canyon, it's not a cave. To do some cool night photo photography. Hello! Hello. Nope, just, just me. So the main thing, I think, is some of these really cool, smooth rock areas. And then, of course, it's this ice waterfall. This is what I want to get. And then there's this cave right in here. What I wanted to do is actually, I have my tent and I wanted to put the tent in there. I feel like it would even be safe to, to sleep all night in here. But you can't really see on film too, too well, but there's some really nice colors in here. And by setting up some lights inside this cool cave of ice, we'll be able to get some shots. And let's set up the camera and see what shots we can get. Check it out, it's the LED light casting these wild, beams of light on me. I got my LED light, so there might be a bit of blur here because I'm shooting at a thirteenth of a second for this video. Uh, but uh, I got my... I don't know if you can see the cave there. Pretty cool. And there's the opening and there's all the trees way up there. I got my tripod set up. It's my Z Z9 with a 14 to 24 lens on there. It's cold up on the surface at negative 20, negative 18 I think, but I think with the wind chill it's a lot colder. And so I'm running back and forth because I can go inside this cave and light it up, but I also want to photograph the opening of the cave and get some of the stars because the stars are out and I got those trees up there and I've got this light that allows me to change colors too so I could be a little bit creative with the different colors here and have some fun so let's turn it back to white now, a lot of my shots here inside this ice is really colorful. You can't really see the colors, but when I do a long exposure, 
it brightens it right up and it shines through so the transparency of this ice is really really nice man i love the z9 where these buttons all light up so sweet so check it out i don't know if you can see that there i am i'm doing a whole bunch of different shots here so i'll zoom in 100 percent there i am nicely exposed and sharp and then the next photo look at the color in there can, I wonder if this camera can even pick that up but inside the cave there I have it lit and then I've got the the stars come on keep up with me and then there's a few other shots you got to keep taking more and more shots as you're going through all of this so Anyways, very exciting, a lot to go ahead and photograph, and uh, yeah, can't wait to show you some of these awesome images. So I'm in the cave. I've got my LED light here. It's a bit of blur here again because of the LED lights flickering. I didn't want to cause too much flickering for you guys. And I've got the, I'm just gonna tuck off here. I got the camera and tripod. Everything is all set up and I did a horizontal shot of this opening right here and I took some shots inside where I can light up all of the, the stems of ice. Whoa, gotta watch it. And I also positioned myself here in the dark opening with a warm light, because this I can change to different colors here. There we go. I got more of a lantern color. And, uh, and then on the outside, I set up a, uh, my headlamp to light up the, sorry, it's on its auto change color here. So I set up my headlamp with the white light to light up the, uh, okay, this is starting to annoy me. Then on the outside, I set up my headlamp and I positioned where the, tripod and the light is, or sorry, the tripod and the camera is, with the center of kind of this support right here, almost like a center beam. I position myself just on the other side so you couldn't see me, and I can light up all of this ice up here from the other side, you know, bringing out some of the greens and blues that are in the ice there. If you like this content, please give me that thumbs up. It really helps out. And if you aren't subscribed, think about subscribing. Cheers from the Rocky Mountains. Shoot all of these different ones. Move forward and backwards. Oh no. If this was one of the rings, orcs would be charging through here. We would be dead. Good thing it's not Lord of the Rings. Man, 